Hello, in this video we're going to show that this quantity is convergent using sequence theory. Now, we know that as n goes to infinity, this limits to the quantity e, which is 2.7 something. But we're just going to use sequence theory to show that it that the limit does exist and that it's between a certain a certain value between two numbers. Um, we're not going to prove that it equals e in this video, but the, the things and the steps we use to show that it is a convergent sequence, I think are good tools to have in your bag, your mathematical tool bag that is. So let's let this sequence, a of n, be this represented like this. And we want to show that a n is a bounded monotone increasing sequence. Okay, so first let's show that it's increasing and we do that by if we look at the ratios and they're all greater than one then we know this sequence gets a little bit bigger each time meaning it's increasing okay so if we look at this ratio here we got n plus one and here's n then we use the binomial theorem to expand this and expand the denominator and we get this now one raised to a power is one so we can essentially get rid of these. And then next I want to expand the um, combinatorics here, combinations. So it's n plus 1 factorial divided by k factorial divided by n plus 1 minus k factorial. Well, the, 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 those factorials cancel and we're left with this. In the same way with the denominator, the n minus k factorial div, uh, cancels with the n minus k factorial term up here and then it's the product of these numbers. Well the nice thing here is that there's k terms left here and there's k terms left here and there's k terms here. You know it's raised to the kth power so that means it times itself k time. So we're going to take the, this term and put it under the n plus 1 and then put it under the n and then put it under the n minus 1 for all these and then we're going to do the same way here. Then the k factorial, we just bring out front on each of them. And then here, you know, it goes to 1. And then in here, so if we add 1 or subtract 1, that makes it going to here a little bit easier. And we do that for every term. Now here's the tricky part, is that, um, that each, each respective term is bigger in the numerator. So this is... So we're subtracting off a little bit less than this term. And here we're subtracting off a little bit less than we're subtracting here. So every one of these corresponding terms up here is greater than or equal to its bottom term. So that means this is a little bit bigger than this. Plus there's one more term. So we're going to n plus 1. So there's a whole other positive term that really makes sure that this is greater than 1. And so that's what I say. So each term in the numerator is bigger than its respective term in the denominator. And it has one more term in the sum. And so therefore it's greater than 1. So it's an increasing sequence. Now let's prove that it's bounded. So when n equals 1, the sequence starts at 2. Right? And since it's a, in, a monotone increasing sequence, it never goes below 2. So the, the sequence is bounded below by 2. So that's kind of an easy one. Now next we want to show this result here, that n factorial is greater than or equal to 2 to the n minus 1. For when n is greater than or equal to 2, and we're going to prove it by induction. So when n equals 2, we get 2 factorial equals 2, which is equal to 2 to the 2 minus 1, which is 2. So this statement is true. Now let's assume it's true for n equal k. So that means k factorial is greater than 2 to the k minus 1. And let's look at k factorial. It can be written as this, k plus 1 times k factorial. Well, we're assuming this is true, so we can plug that in here, and it gets a little bit smaller. And remember, k is, um, you know, th this it, we're only looking at 2 or, or more. So this number is bigger than 2. So if we plug in 2, it gets a little bit smaller. But this is 2 to the k, and that's what we wanted to show. 
So this is true for all n greater than or equal to 2. n factorial is greater than or equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. And we're going to use that in a second here. Next we want to show that this, uh, the nth term, or the, yeah, the nth, uh, yeah, value in our sequence is greater than this sum. Um, now from 1, we looked at the binomial expansion or the, using the binomial theorem to expand this, and we got this term here. Now notice each one of these terms is a little bit less than 1, all positive, but a little bit less than 1, and that is 1. So if we get rid of them, what's left gets bigger, which is this. Well, that's what we wanted to show. Now, if we look at this term again, we know that it's greater than or equal to 1 over you know, this sum, but let's, let's take a look at the first two uh, terms in this sum, which is this, and then we start it at uh, k equal 2 to n. Well, this right here, if n goes to infinity, this equals 1. Oh, let, let me back up. No, it doesn't. So this, since k the factorial is always a little bit bigger than 2 to the k minus 1, then if we replace that with this, this grows. It gets a little bit bigger because we're dividing by uh, uh, smaller numbers, which means this gets bigger. And this is the famous uh, sum where it goes from, you know, 1 to infinity. And so this should be a 2. Um, then... You know, 1 to infinity, this goes to 1. So we're cutting out terms. So this is smaller than 1. So if we replace it by 1, it gets a little bigger. So this is 3. So every term in this sequence is, is less than 3. Well, that says that this sequence is bounded above by 3. So it's bounded below by 2 and bounded above by 3. And then I have a video out called Monotone Sequences of Real Numbers. And there we show that if we have a sequence and it's bounded and monotone increasing, the sequence must converge, which implies that this limit exists. And so, and, and that's all I have for this video. So we just showed using sequence theory that it's bounded below by two and bounded above by three and the limit exists. And now there's hundreds of other videos, of course, that you will show that that limits to you know, the famous value E, but we are not going to tackle that in this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.